Brothers exit the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Moments after a serious accident during the Ringling Brothers Legend Show left folks frightened and confused. It was uh, unexpected, you know. We thought we thought it was going as planned, and then uh, next thing you know, people got up. The one guy had blood on him. Eyewitnesses tell us circus performers were involved in a human chandelier when something went wrong. The circus scene has been critiqued for years due to the number of deaths in both humans and animals, while these animals are being used as props. A perfect example is the elephant known as Tyke, who was severely abused by her trainers, escaped the circus after killing a trainer who abused and frightened her for years and was ultimately murdered by police as they saw no other way to control her escaping a circus show. Tyke went through countless forms of abuse in a short lifespan she had in the circus, and the people who perform during those acts are risking their lives to entertain us. This person I'm going to talk about was born into the circus lifestyle and chose her path to follow her family. Despana Desi Kayova was born in 1972 in Bulgaria to circus artists Anna and Georgi Kayova. She was a fifth-generation artist and, as a young girl, worked in her family's springboard acrobatic acts and trained in the circus school in Sofia. She was a part of the Kayova Tita Board Act, which was formed in 1972 and later joined at 14 years old, where the family earned two different Guinness World Records, a decoration from the Bulgarian Ministry of Culture and the Silver Clown Award. The Silver Clown Award was given in January of 1987 at the Circus Festival of Monte Carlo in front of Prince Rainer. In February of 1987, she broke a world record by swirling 75 silver hoops simultaneously on her body. She broke her own record by swirling 88 hoops, then once again broke her record by swirling 97 hoops. Her records made TV, which the last record-breaking performance was broadcasted on live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Her record stood until the late 1990s. Throughout her life, she went to America, touring with the Ringling Brothers and the Barnum and Bailey Circus. She first appeared at age three and was a springboard member by age seven. In 1998, after doing shows in England, Desi returned to America and she met Ivan Espana, a member of a Latino circus family best known for flying trapeze and thrill act exploits. Ivan was a fourth generation performer and the family branched out with Wheel of Death and Globe of Death acts where both Desi and her younger sister Jerry used to perform. In July of 1992, Desi married Ivan Espana during a live show in Houston, Texas. They continued to work for Ringling Brothers then left to another company before returning again in January of the late 1990s. Ivan had a motorcycle act where Desi would stand in the middle of a steel sphere as Ivan and others rode on motorcycles around her. Despana also appeared in a Roman Rings aerial act in 1996 where performers hung from rope with rings attached in a very high altitude, performing different stunts, tributing Lillian Letzel who fell to her death doing the same act at Valencia Music Hall in Copenhagen on February 13, 1931. Desi was known not to use safety nets during her performances and barely any of the stunt performers at Ringling did. She would be in the air with rings or chiffon scarfs and doing daring stunts. On May 22, 2004, Desi was performing in St. Paul, Minnesota's Excel Energy Center Arena, doing a high acrobatic routine with chiffon scarfs without any safety net, in which this act, nets aren't traditional, but some performers prefer extra safety. Since Desi had been born into the lifestyle, she knew what she was doing. 25 minutes into a three-hour ringling performance, Despana was twirling upside down and hanging from her leg while a metal bar was supporting the scarves she was hanging from. Either the silky cloth or the mechanism holding the cloth failed, but Desi started falling head first onto the floor where she fell right on top of her head. According to those in the crowd watching, some felt that something bad was going to happen before she fell, and some actually thought it was part of the act. The host of the performance decided to continue the show like nothing transpired while Desi was receiving medical attention. 
Unfortunately, Despana died at the hospital from her injuries, and this was the first major fatal accident in Ringling Brothers in a decade. First of all, there should be extra safety precautionary measures, even if you've been doing something dangerous for decades. A lot of people have died from performing in the circus. A great example of this are the Flying Walindas, who had numerous deaths in the family from falling over 100 feet in the air while balancing on a metal wire the size of a nickel and holding balancing poles. The leader of the family, Carl Walinda, responded to his family dying left and right as just show business and decided to remove the safety nets entirely from his act. Carl would later die falling from a wire over 75 feet in the air at 73 years old during a performance in Puerto Rico. There is a law that is rarely used in the state of Minnesota, which makes it illegal to allow performers to do high-flying acts without a safety net. By Minnesota law, Ringling Brothers had the obligation that day to put the net where Desi was going to perform. These violations are misdemeanors, punishable with a $200 fine and a possible one year in jail. It was unclear if this law was considered or enforced in Desi's case. Despana came from a generation of daring, high-balance performing family and perfected her craft since the age of three years old. She never shied away from her performances and made it her life. Desi set her life out to perform for others' entertainment. But what if that entertainment could be the fate of your death? I personally wouldn't find someone risking their lives as fun or entertaining, but at least she was doing what she loved to do. May de España, Queova, España, rest in peace.